Pleasant good afternoon to the media and to the listening public of Trinidad and Tobago. Let me join with the Prime Minister and offer my condolences to the parents of Denison Smith and Mark Richards, the two schoolboys who were killed yesterday at Laventil. I want to publicly state that I condemn strongly the killings of two, those two young schoolboys yesterday. To our mind in the security environment, the criminals have taken this to a new level. And so I have met this morning with the Commissioner of Police, the Chief of Defense Staff, the Commissioner of Prisons. And I can tell you that I literally read the riot act to them because I believe and I strongly believe that we have to change the way in which we do business. And we intend, based on strategy, to use a strategy of offense and deterrent. The offense means that we are going to take the fight to those criminals, to those who feel that they can bear arms illegally in Trinidad and Tobago. Deterrence means that we're going to have a presence, as, as the Prime Minister said. We're going to have a presence throughout the streets in Trinidad and Tobago, on our highways and our byways. We're going to ensure that the defense force to its fullest potential will be there in support of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. This is to show, ladies and gentlemen, that create a sense of security for our citizens to understand that the criminal elements who choose that way will be certainly be dealt with within the law with a very strong presence and a very strong reaction from the security services. We are going to be using what is called an integrated approach based on intelligence. Within recent times, you have seen that we have appointed a director of the Strategic Services Agency. And so we're going to be using the capabilities of that institution to a large extent, based on our National Intelligence Agency and our National Operations Center, to ensure that all facilities, all equipment, all that is at the disposal of the Ministry of National Security will bring to bear on the situation, not only of the day, but to treat all the criminal elements in Trinidad and Tobago is going to be focused and it's going to be integrated, ladies and gentlemen. And that is to not only a reaction, but it's also to deal with creating the environment for our visitors to our shows, as you know, we are well into the carnival season, to ensure that they are coming into Trinidad and Tobago knowing quite well that the security forces are creating the environment of security for all of us to enjoy ourselves. But additionally, for the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago to be able to do their business with, in the absence of fear so that all of the, the forces would be mobilized. And as the Prime Minister said, and I, as he has instructed, the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force will be fully mobilized to show that presence throughout Trinidad and Tobago. And even while we prepare what is happening internally, the Trinidad and Tobago Coast Guard, together with other elements, will be also utilized to protect our shores. Because while we concentrate on what is happening here, the reality is that we still have to put a to stem the inflow of guns and drugs coming into our country. So it is, in fact, a full mobilization of our forces to ensure the security of Trinidad and Tobago.